It was a cleansing and I was uplifting myself in the same. Because it said you have to take away this and you're going to bring to bring on. It's like, um, what's, what, is it, what did he say? When you have a, 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 a full cup, uh, you can't put something in it. Yeah. But you got to get take some out. You got to empty some of that old, and only the old stuff, not all your stuff. You don't take yourself say, I'm going to be a new person and dump it out and just say, no, give me some new stuff. No, what's left in that cup is you, your essence, who you are. It never leaves you, right? And what you're taking out is the stuff that does no longer serves you. And then the divine pours the new inside. Jammy Jam today, and we're having it with some hot cocoa. Hot cocoa, yeah, and some chamomile tea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I forgot I didn't have any milk, guys, so I'm doing chamomile tea. And I put some um, lip, no, lemongrass ginger tea in there, too. So. <gasps> mm -hmm. That's my favorite. So if y'all see me nodding up, <laughs> we know. You know, see what she did, chamomile, and put lemongrass in there. She knows she's going to be like, yes, you know, so you know, last night was. Mm -hmm. She's going to do some of that, so we're going to have to, like, right. <laughs> talk to you back. We trust and pray that everyone is having a blessed day full of love and light. Oh, my goodness, come join us with your hot cocoa, coffee, tea, whatever that you like that you drink in the morning, and come get a chat with us. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. Love you all. Come in here. Have a couple of java. <laughs> A cup of cocoa. Hey, I put I put in the I put in the announcement. They can do a cold beverage, and I put a wine glass. What do you, boo? Just come do on, you. be in your PJs, bring your drink, and let's chat. That's it. Yeah, that, that's, 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 thing. that's what we do. We're here. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we do. That's what we do. I'm, I have my mamacita cup. Oh, nice, mamacita. Okay. Mm. I love cocoa. I spend most of my I spend most of my nights last night uh, making a crown. <laughs> my costume. <laughs> you, you gonna show it to everybody? Show it, show ah, it. It's not done. Show it, Moon Goddess. It's not done yet, so okay. Mm. What what? Yeah, good. Jess, you did an awesome job. You know, you did an awesome job. A glue gun, the dollar store, and the flower session will get you anything. <laughs> my friend's like, um, beautiful. Yes, I was looking for a crown. We went to two different stores. She's like, I was looking for a crown, whatever. I said, it's like you're trying to picture a regular crown. <laughs> My mind right now is just we're gonna craft this out, ah, whatever comes mm. out, it's gonna be the crown. <laughs> so I went to the session of at the flower store at the flower store and I was just zoomed out and she was like, Jess, Jess, Jess. And then she said, Were you somewhere else? <laughs> Girl, you was in a zone. You were like, okay, so if I do this, I can do this. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to be all sparkly. You know me so well. <laughs> I was like, I apologize to you for the doing this to you because she was uh, paying already by the register. Oh, my and goodness. I was like, I apologize to you. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I just, I went in there looking for, because we were, you know, we were walking around the store. We went to Party City. We went... And then I was like, wow. no, boo. I said, no, boo. No, let's make it. Hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. How are you? Our beautiful sister queen. Hey. How <laughs> are you feeling today? I am feeling all right. Oh, I praise God. Love to hear that. So do you got your, your wine glass, your cup of java, your cocoa? Oh, what do you have? Um, I have 
what's in here? Um, vinegar, honey, and ginger. Oh my um, and then I put a little bit of Tulsi in there this morning, which is really Whoa. nice. Oh, what kind of um, what kind of vinegar is it? Holy basil. What's that? What, what kind, kind of big vinegar? vinegar? Apple cider apple vinegar. Cider. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I I forgot to say apple cider vinegar. That's that's the vinegar <laughs> that I just use. <laughs> so I can you to the recipe, please, because my daughter is trying to get into into the apple cider vinegar. She bought a bottle actually like two days ago and she's like, I don't know how I'm gonna drink this, but I need to drink this. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Have you all seen the apple cider vinegars with turmeric, with um green tea, with oh mm -hmm. I'm a brain. When I visit you, Tiff, I'm going to bring it. I have a little case. I'm going to bring them. Going around. Really? Yes. It has so many. It has one with Moringa in it. Um, <laughs> another one with cayenne. And it's all these beautiful, beautiful bottles. Oh, I guess I haven't seen that. I've seen um, like kind of bigger bottles at the store that have um, extra things in there. And I didn't. I don't know if I saw it, if I've seen it here, but when we were down in New Orleans um, this spring, that's where that's where I first saw apple cider mm -hmm. vinegar mixed with other things in a bottle. Oh, nice. Yeah. I saw this other one that had ginger in the bottom of it. Because mm. growing up in there, I was like, oh, I have got to get this one. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be leaving Columbia soon. So I'm thinking of all the things that I want to like put in my suitcase. <laughs> when you know, thing? right, right now, Arizona, Sedona, Arizona, but I may pop to another spot first before I go there mm -hmm. in Costa Rica. Yeah. And I'll be there. And she's in her life. <laughs> yeah. Doing when it, have you, mind telling me to do it. Yes. When do you set out? When do you leave? Uh, November 23rd. Oh my gosh. I know. Wow. <laughs> she was out thinking you were going to say, well, next year, right? January or February. She's right. like, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> and it's something that things you go through when change is about. First, there's always, for me, excitement. Because mm -hmm. you feel that, oh, wow, it's time. That's when I know it's time for me to do something, the feeling that comes. It matches everything. And I'm like, oh, wow. Sometimes I'm like this. It's time? Woo. <laughs> what I'm doing? Night. What I'm doing? <laughs> that was me last night. Oh. Uh, oh, wow. It is getting there. Oh, because yeah. in January, I will also be traveling. And I was like, oh, we we're checking flights and everything now, too. Oh. Oh, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> but if it's something, has anyone ever experienced when it's an, a new place? Do you get like that, like, all right, let me get let me get the lay of the land. Or do you or or do you do you do you feel any type of like, oh my goodness, where am I? Or, you know, the different things you'll go through just trying to marry a new place like what do you do to just marry a new place even if it's just like you're going on vacation or you you're going to visit someone you know that change of going to just another atmosphere you know mm -hmm. sometimes for me it's just wonder I have I have a lot of wonder a lot of curiosity waiting to see the new things you know and but it, it's quite different than than you know, many years, moons ago for me. It, it's it's grown up. It's grown up a little bit because I told my sons, no matter where you go, you take your feet with you. Do you know what I mean? That you can rhyme chime in any place and space yourself, you know? But I do look forward like the curiosity and the wonder of a new place. How do you, what do you guys, um, what do you like about the travel and just to hit a new spot, even if it's just a vacation or a new place to live in. I haven't traveled in a while, but the last time that I did travel, I felt like, um, well, because I was traveling to where friends and family were going to be, I was very excited. 
I was like, oh, I haven't seen him in a while. You know, like, ooh, uh. But uh, for this traveling that I am going to do, I am, like, my heart skips a beat every time I think about it. Mm -hmm. Because I've been working on it, thinking about it, actually, for a whole, almost a year now. And saying to myself, oh my God, this is happening. I'm definitely going to go do this for a whole month. I'm going to leave my kid, the kids for a month. Uh, my husband, uh, this is going to be like really, like really deep. So every time I think about it, I just go there because <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow. I don't even know what's going to happen after. <laughs> that type of deal. That type of excitement. Right? Like, am I going to be oh, the same Jesse or am I going to be like a totally different Jesse? Like, what? Up. So that's new and approved. <laughs> new and approved, yeah. Wow. Oh, that's right, Jesse. You have been living with this for uh, um, a year since since last year. I forgot about that. Can yeah, you, can you the, explain the, to everybody? Explain I've everybody. Been the, I've been in the spiritual um, awakening process for a year now. Um, and not, and not just awakening on its own. It's just like, I, you know, awakening boom. And then my great, my great grandparents, uh, gave me different instructions and my guides, different instructions of how to deal with certain things because, um, one, because we needed to, to, to take off, you know, the generational stuff that was going on in my family because of, you know, decisions that were made and, and then that, that I needed to go find somebody that could help me with that. And because my family didn't have that, I didn't have the funds as well. So like I was, I was, you know, this morning I was talking to my guides about it. I went to a walk before, before doing this and I was, and then somebody said, remember when you, um, remember when you were so depressed, you were just crying and you were, you couldn't see a, a way out of this. And now you're like about to travel to go do your final, you know, the final things for the, for the journey. And I'm like, that is so crazy. I, I can't even go back and like, see where I was because I went into, okay, what do we have to do now? Okay, let's do it. Let's find these people. Let's, let's do this mm -hmm. stuff. And, you know, I, I want to get to a good place where I can have a conversation with my whole family and not be judged by, what the decisions that I've made within the past few years. Not that I care about it because I don't, but my parents, my mom does. So you're know, just to just to give her the sense of of you know like it's okay, mom. Um, you know I I was travel I my travels and my my spiritual stuff is it was different from yours because uh, you know we we kind of stopped doing things that we weren't doing like because we came into the United States. And yeah, it, it, it really, yeah, because, you know, now we have to be what the United States needs us to be, not what our family needs to be and what the, wow. our ancestors want us to be. Like, yes, they want us to come to this, this, this country, but, because, but they want us to change the things that we didn't do over there in the sense of, like, economics or, like, family, you know, get, instead of going away in different ways everybody goes in different ways I feel like that's how it is here too and that's what that I keep hearing from from whoever's whispering now is that here is um you know it's, it's a different world right and we came into this world and then we left everything everything instead of bringing what we had over there and improving it here Ooh. You know, because now yeah. we are like, like sort of like you're going from dimension to dimension and now you, you came and you brought the good stuff. You left shit over there and let that dimension take, take care of the earth to keep it and then come over here and the good stuff lets go in and, and go for bigger and better things and not cage us in, in, in there. So anyway, so I hope that makes sense to you guys. But that's that's what it. What I'm getting because of everything that I've been working for, but yeah, last night was surreal when you and I were talking. You're like, I, I cook Angela for two seconds. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm I'm dying here. I have like this 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 thing that I'm working on, but you know. And then I and then she tells me a little bit about you know the trips and the trips, and I'm like, 
dude, he's it's real, it's real. It's okay, great. right, okay. <laughs> so that came into the, the whole, like, um, the whole, oh my God, you're traveling and it's it's finally happening when, because what happened was also I met master uh, during during that time, during the time That's of the right. night, but I wasn't able to join in on the 108 that back then, but I knew I was going to be part of it. I knew that not this year because I was just like, oh shit, like I'm here and I'm in this job and I, I awaken and I'm rich and I don't have the money. Where's the money now? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like awakening and knowing that you're rich and you're like, wait, what is going on? So now I, I went for it. And this year I finally was able to, you know, I, I, I was, my guys were like, yeah, we got, we got to do this. We're doing this, we're doing that, we're doing this. And all of yeah. those things lined up for it and my husband always my husband now before he's like I don't understand none of it but I see the movements that are going through so uh when that happened Tiff and everybody I um I had a conversation with my son and I had a conversation uh, now my son my husband and the kids um and I I let them know I said you know I am doing, we're, I'm going to be doing all of this stuff right now, but it's going to come a time that I'm going to take off for a month to do this. And I explained what I was going to do and I explained why I was doing it. And for us, for us, for our family, because it's, it was also happening in my husband's family and now we got married and now we have, we inherit all the shit together. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have all the shit. Sure. We have One more stuff to take care of. <laughs> Yeah, so so all of the all of the baggage. Let's say, let's say baggage for the sake of of the kids, right? All the baggage we got, all the baggage. So now it's just like letting go of the baggage that we don't need, only carrying the things right. that we need. The things that we don't need, we're gonna donate it, right? Yeah, or we're gonna destroy it. Uh, the other stuff we're just gonna carry along. So this is sort of like a clean slate for all the years that. So that's why my apartment now looks yeah. like a terror because, you know, I've been working on energies that have been in our families for years. Oh, and my goodness. And generations. So now it's like clean, but babe, it's going to, you know, like. <laughs> so, so it's basically like, like, let's say that you're about to, you have a home and you want to build a new home. So what do you have to do? You have to destroy that current home all the way to the foundation. And if the foundation is bad, you have to also destroy the foundation. Ooh. And that's what we're basically doing when on this journey. Because if you look at my house, you think I just moved in, but I've been here for nine years. I mean, because I am detoxing, you know, I'm getting rid of all these energies and habits and all types of things and purging. You know, um, so, I mean, even on a cellular level, you know, so everything, not just myself, but the house and, you know, thought process, habits and all the way I speak, the way I eat, all types of things. So is what you just said, Jesse, is totally, I get it. I get it. I'm doing the same because I was like, okay, so I'm looking through the house yesterday and I'm like, okay, I need to get rid of like, girl, I have one, okay, one, two, four TVs. Okay, I'm only one person. Why need four TVs? You know, and, and, and it's energy too, because all those TVs were not my original TV. So the original you owner, go. your energy is, is on, the, on the TV. Wow. So I need to get rid of TVs. I need to get rid of sheets, comforters. Mm. I need to get rid of stuff in the kitchen. Ooh. And for a second there, I'm like, but I like all of my cake pants and stuff you know but then I had to say boo Walmart is not going out of business or JC <laughs> Penny you can buy another one like okay I got you I got you so I had to literally detach that emotional energy that I had for is girl all of my you know my glassware my cute little stuff you know and I'm like no no it's going it's going <laughs> it's going so yeah. I'm gonna go and the thing about it is that I was already on a journey to be a minimalist. Mm. Even that, hello, I don't want to be a, a minimalist. <laughs> you know, I had to actually decide or figure out, is that something I truly wanted to do or that I want mm. to do? And I, I don't. 
I don't. So girl, I'm with your boo. I'm with you. I'm with you. Jesse, something else that you said that was so powerful. Um, you said, and this isn't just your family. Some people, when they're not, when they're not, when they're not, when they're not born and raised in a country, they think that they cannot take their current essence their Mm -hmm. culture into that new country you know and and i say country but let's let's just narrow it down to the u.s because some people feel like this country is like the the place of all dreams and stuff like that but we got issues just like y'all country this i mean hello we're all human so there's still greed there's still prejudice or still all of that stuff and plus especially right now because all of the energies are changing. So all this junk is coming to the surface. Yeah, wow, wow. So if you're going to move to another country, I would say make sure that you're grounded where you are first. Yes. Gra- be grounded in yourself and who you are. Who, you know, No matter where you are, be you. No matter if you're in Mexico or Asia, wherever, the UK, be you. Yes. And then you can travel. And that means that when you do travel, you're protected as well too, and you will not get swept up in the energies of that culture or that country or the gossip or any of that stuff. So I wanted to hit on that too. I wanted to hit awesome on that. Thing. Wow, awesome thing. Yes. And before I came to Colombia, I actually prepared. I prepared myself. I was speaking to Dee before we went live. It was right after my divorce. So I had eight months in between. And I spent that time with self, you know, and um, it wasn't, let me bring my baggage with me. It was the clean slate that I asked the divine for. Someone asked me, a friend of mine asked me, well, what do you want? You know, I'm in this, I'm on this precipice. I'm like, um, and all I saw on my desk was a piece of computer paper and I picked it up and I said this, and it was a white sheet of paper. That's what I want. So then it started. I was walking downstairs in my basement a few days after that. And the spirit said, when something is holding you down, what do you do? Didn't we say, put it down? I went, yes, you did. So I grabbed the biggest bag I could find. And every time I put something in it, I just felt the weight go whoosh, whoosh, the cleansing. I was like, oh, I like this. Woohoo! I didn't know he could start this fast and I'm putting this in there and putting that in there and everything that I threw out and I was blessing it. Yes, yes, you want something? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And anything I wanted to give to somebody, I gave to the different churches, I gave to the different um, 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 homes that needed it, different people. What do you need? What do you want? What do you? It just was like a cleansing. It was a cleansing and I was uplifting myself in the same. Because it said you have to take away this. And you're gonna to bring to bring on. It's like um, what's what is it? What did he say? When you have a a, a a full cup, you can't put something in it. Yeah. But you gotta get take some out. You gotta empty some of that old and only the old stuff, not all your stuff. You don't take yourself like I'm gonna be a new person and dump it out and say, you know, give me some new stuff. No, what's left in that cup is you, your essence, who you are. It never leaves you, right? And what you're taking out is the stuff that does no longer serves you. And then the divine pours the new inside. So that's a process. You're right, Dee. Wow. And Jesse. Wow. Thank you for that. M- Missy's dropping some knowledge in yeah. the chat. Hey, hey Missy. Missy. She said, when you clean your house, you are cleaning your mind as well. She Ooh. said, clutter house is cluttered mind. Clean the house and clean the mind. Change the mindset. You're, you are outside surroundings. Uh, change. She's right. She's right. She's right. She's right. Every time I go, every time I go cleaning, though, you know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm doing. I'm like, my friend yesterday got to see a little glimpse of it, and then I, t- I tell a little snippet, and then I, I let Tiff share if she wants to share. Um, <clears throat> so I, I go to my friends. So I, my friend takes me to, to buy the, the things for my crown. And then my cousin said, oh, I'm going to be cleaning a room, uh, cleaning a corner. I had like, he had a list of the things that he was going to clean, the things that he was going to, you know, uh, we left him 
in the house that he was going to do all of this. In between things, conversations happen, conversations happen. He got sidetracked. We get to the house and it's like, like the trolls threw up all over the house. <laughs> well, you know, like, you know, Zoe has trolls in the house. So I was like, oh, Zoe must be asleep. <laughs> she was. <laughs> so I got in the house, my friend is hyperventilating. Oh, and she's yelling. She's like, <laughs> I was like, okay. Wait, wait. Um, take a breath. You know, her thing is her husband is coming in two hours. Her husband is coming in two hours. This whole thing happened all over the house. It was all over the house, guys. It was in the living room, the kitchen, the room. So I was like, we're just gonna like, come on, come on. We're just gonna breathe. Can we breathe? She's like, no, but I was like, it's okay, I can help him. I can help him. Just give me a few minutes. I'm gonna just need um like a few minutes to go outside and breathe. And then I'm gonna come just to clear my energy and you know clear the visual, the imprints that I just had. Um, so I'm gonna just go outside and, and take a deep breath and you know come back and you know I promise you it's gonna be okay. She's like I know, but it's going crazy. I was like okay, all right. Why don't you just breathe here and then I'm gonna go breathe my own way outside and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna I'm gonna help you trust me it's gonna be okay she's like this is crazy this takes days I said well I have helpers <laughs> it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay so I go outside and I'm talking to them my training and I'm you know talking to I said okay so okay so yes you know, I was supposed to go home first, but I came here first now. So is there any helpers that can help me now? <laughs> and I hear, yes, of course. Okay, so I was like, all right. So let me take a lot of deep breath, a lot of deep breath. I go back inside the house. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to need you to move over here. This is me with my cousin. This is me with my cousin. Let me move over here. And so her son was helping out too. I said, I'm going to need you to stay right here and hold this bag right here. Um, do we have containers? Yes. Okay, let's put this container. And out of nowhere, I go. And then I just. <laughs> my friend's like, what's going on? <laughs> I said, first of all, I told you I'm used to doing this. I clean. And, you know, this happens. This is my process of. of uh, don't I you know I everything happened I said can I have some music please and then put music and then I'm I'm just looking for the tone of the music and then you know whatever done, everything was done my friend is I said it's not to your loving but this is the best we can do in two hours so that when your husband comes home it's okay and then on Monday we will go to, through the list together and you you can do that because what he did is he needs to build a new closet. So he moved the closet and everything that was around without building the closet. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then he was like, I don't know what happened, but you just cleaned up this whole thing really fast. And all I have to say is I'm going to go drink some water and come back. And he doesn't drink, guys. He doesn't drink at all. Like, he's not an alcoholic. He went to get some water. So he was like, it's like I don't know what happened I don't know I said listen I told you this stuff happens around me I just don't show it into the extent but this is what happens when I'm alone <laughs> I know she was happy I know she was happy was very happy because the living room ended up it was only a room but I ended up Clean the room, the living room, the kitchen, organize everything. And I said, and the next week you can deeper. But I, I told myself, listen, if you want me to help you on Monday, we're getting rid of stuff. Mm -hmm. We're doing donation pile because Christmas is right around the corner, and you're gonna not gonna we're not we're not bringing all the stuff in here. You know, it's even me, even all of us from whoever's on the call now and, and later, and you know. Things, when you bring things into your house, you got to purge the older things because yes. you're going to put stuff on top of stuff on top of stuff on top of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tiff, go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's over again. 
<laughs> no, that was good. That was good. Yeah. Um, I love that this conversation is happening right now because um, I am definitely in a space where I, I guess I've been in this space multiple times over the years, but I'm in a space where I want my home to be clean and clear of excess stuff. And I think what makes it challenging for me is not being the only one in the house anymore. It's myself, it's my husband, and it's my daughter. And um, like when you all were talking, I was thinking about um, when, when I was preparing, hold on a second. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I was preparing to, um, to go to Costa Rica, this was, oh, geez, about 12 years ago now, I think. And um, right before my husband and I got together and, um, and, I, and I, I found myself, like I was in a small apartment I really didn't have very much at all because every time I moved, I would get rid of more stuff. And I actually like moving because I always looked at it as an opportunity to get rid of more stuff and to be in a new space and all of that good stuff. Wow. Um, yeah, so I looked around my apartment and I was like, oh my gosh. I have all of these things. Do I really need these things? And they were a lot of things that I had taken when I left my parents' house and, um, and just things that I was just lugging around. And I, I had really come to a moment of um, why do I have all of this stuff? How is it serving me? And, and it wasn't, and again, it wasn't very much compared to what's going on now. It, it was like, <laughs> I was in like a 600 foot <coughs> square foot apartment oh and everything that I had fit in the apartment. I had a storage space in the basement, but I kept my bicycle and my bike pump in there and nothing else. So everything that I had was in this apartment. And but I just, um, so like in coming to the decision to like get rid of things and to go to Costa Rica, like I was, I was, um, I was starting a new life in my, in my mind. I was, I was going out, going off, um, something that I had wanted to do for years. And, um, and I felt like it was kind of my last opportunity to be able to do that because I was single, I had no attachments and, and I was just going to go. Um, and so, you know, I'm sitting here like getting rid of all of these things and I've got like family members talking in my ear, like, you're going to get rid of that. Well, don't get rid of that. Why are you going to get rid of that? And I'm like, do you want it? <laughs> because I don't want it. If you want to have it, go right ahead. You can take it. Um, and I mean, and I got rid of things that I love. Like I got rid of like my favorite chairs and, and my, my TV and TV stand and, and, um, and dining room table set. And just like all of these, all of these things, microwave, I, I gave away the last time I owned a microwave, I gave away my microwave to a friend and she was like, are you sure? Do, do you want me to pay you for this? And I'm like, no, have it. <laughs> it's yours. I'm good. Um, but yeah, uh, so, so then 
you know, I come back, I, I was in Costa Rica for two and a half months. And right before I left is when my husband and I got together. So um, like the original plan was just to go and just be gone. But universe was like, well, actually we've got <laughs> another plan here for you. <laughs> um, so we, you know, ended up, I ended up like falling in love with my husband, but then still leaving for, yeah, still leaving for two and a half months because that's what my plan was. Um, and yeah, so, um, so then I came back and, um, and moved in with him and I, I like went about setting the house and getting rid of things and, you know, bringing in my own energy and, and it was good. And then I don't know what happened, but things began to come in, like, things and things and things and things. And now here we are like 11, 12 years later and there is so much. <laughs> and, and it's probably like for other people, maybe not like as much to them as it feels like to me. Um, but for me, it's a lot. And for me, um, I feel like weighed down and mm -hmm. I feel like it's everywhere. And we have moved so often and moving has begun to get more challenging because we don't move the way that I like to move, which is like, you know, you start getting rid of your shit way ahead of time. <laughs> and, um, so we actually, the, the many times that we've moved over the years, um, we end up at the end just throwing shit in boxes. Like, okay, we'll figure this out when we get there. Oh, wow. And yeah, and it just, and so there are things that when we move into a new place, that never actually come out of the boxes <laughs> because we just like don't get to it all but then more things begin to come in and and there isn't like this balance and and it's been challenging for me to figure out how to bring things back into balance or harmony flow whatever and but still be respectful of the fact that it's not just me the other energies yeah my thing yes. yeah and especially with having a child like mm -hmm. you know they come with so many things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I love what you said there. Yeah. <laughs> that's what happened yesterday when I was like, um, are we trying to have, no, 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 no. And I was like, okay. But all I'm saying is that on Monday when I come, I will have a method for this craziness and we will, we will help, okay? So the method is if you haven't used it in three months, mm. we're going to to donate it because wow. if you haven't used it in three months you will never use it whoa love it wow you will never use it and this is in books this is in feng shui books yeah so i'm, like, I'm gonna come with that so i will give you wow. that, that tool to if you you speak to your husband and have a uh, you know and your and your your daughter yeah. about um yeah about the the donation piece of it and yeah. um you know it's not going to go to the garbage it's going to go to a, a family that needs it because right now we outgrow these things and we yeah. are good here um and this is also going to give us uh, uh, because kids also go here, um, but you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get rid of it, and then the, no, the we this is gonna be donation, and then you're gonna get beautiful things that are coming into your life. 
things that you want to use now because these things you're not using anymore and you haven't used it in like years so now you're into different things and those things that you're into these are the things that are going to come into your life now so maybe that oh, maybe that will help I know it will I know it will <laughs> yes the, the respect for you, Tiff, is just the, the conversation with them of, of what Jesse just shared. That's awesome. And going through the stages of life. Yeah, wow. Yeah, do it together. Do it together. I started doing it together with the kids and my husband because my husband is like that. My husband had things that he, when he was like in grammar school, like clothes, clothes. What? Yes, that he didn't use. And I was like, yeah. Emotional attachment. Yeah, it's so emotionally yeah. attached. So yeah, I did it together. Yeah. And I said, I know you don't want to do it, but we got to do this together because mama's having a hard time, you know, really getting deeper into home stuff when we continue to bring these things that we don't even use. Yeah. But yeah, having it, doing it together. And then you do it together the first time. And then the second time they know. They're like, oh yeah, mama's getting rid of things. So here it is. Here it is. Yeah. 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 And Tiffany, you could also, because um, when I was weaning my little one off of her pacifier, I mean, it's like, okay, you're three, you don't need a pacifier. And what I shared with her, I said, think about all the other little girls who don't have one. Mm. So you can donate this and give this to another little girl. And she was like, okay. And she yeah. gave it to me. So, oh. so so speak speak to speak to that part of us that want to be significant and wants to contribute. So, so speak that to her and see if it but you know still know the individual you're talking to. So but this is how you get to know them too. So try it different ways and see which way resonates with either your husband or your your daughter and then be aware of how they respond and then do that each time and possibly still change it up because again we're constantly evolving too so yeah she'll she'll be fine yeah she'll be fine she'll yeah. be fine well that's the thing is that we have i have gone through and had these conversations with them and they always seem to be on board with it and then we I don't know, like we get started and, and then it's like that one time and then that's, and then that's it. And I, and for me, like, it's a lot to think about doing it all on my own. Um, and yeah, but that's, and, and so then, so then there's like this, this, this tightness that, that comes in. There's like this, this overwhelm that comes in of, you know, doing it, doing on, on, on my own. And, um, and so that's why I said in the beginning, like, I've had this conversation with them before, or I've been in this spot before, and it's happened like multiple times over the years. And I'm just like, oh, this is so much. Let's get rid of it. And and they're like, okay, let's do it. And then it just like just the momentum just fizzles out and we go back to the the same thing over and over again. Um, and I know that part of it is um is you know over the last few years there have been some some health things that that I've been dealing with and so not always having the 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 energy to do it myself and also the energy to like put into the the rest of the house so that so that everybody stays on it with me um and I think honestly, it also kind of triggers like um, from when I was a kid, um, I grew up in a house that was like, had way too much, way too much stuff, way mm. too much stuff. Mm. And, um, and 
knowing that I couldn't do anything about it. Like I tried to, to do something about it at my house and then at my parents' house. But then when I came to the realization that this was their stuff mm. and that I couldn't do it all it wasn't all mine like I I did the extent that I could do on my own as like an 18 19 year old young person and then finally I was like I have to leave because and Jesse <laughs> this is gone but like I have to leave because it's you know I know that I can't get hear what it is that that I am needing I can't get the 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 energetic space that I need and so mm. I removed myself from the situation and and it was a conversation that I had to have with my parents like they didn't understand why I was leaving because mm -hmm. you know we got along just fine when I turned like 17, 18, they were like, you know, way more chill about stuff and I could come and go as I please and all that good stuff. And we had a really good flow going. And, and I actually had no plans on, on leaving at 19. I really didn't. I was like, I'll, I'll stay as long as this, as this is cool. And it was cool until it wasn't. And then like within a month or two months, I was gone, you know? Mm -hmm. so so yeah I think what happens is that that gets gets like triggered in again and and I feel this feeling of ah uh, I can't do this or I can't shift this on my own but in this situation I can't necessarily leave and it's not even like near not even close to near what it was when I when I was growing up but, but that, that still comes in. So, um, so yeah, that's what, um, that's where I'm, that's where I'm at with that. that. Tiffany, that was amazing. I got a thousand and one downloads. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really <laughs> for everyone. The spirit said, re-look at this live. And when Tiffany began speaking, watch her. Because she's telling her story in more ways than one. Mm. She did this. She said, when I was cleaning, look at that flow. You know, David was on talking about the flow. And then I was releasing and releasing. And she said, and then one day what happened? Things started coming. Look at her building. And it mm. build up, build up. And now she went like this. There was so much stuff. And it was big. And then she said that she had to think about it. She said, I had to be open. I was like, with most of the expressions you saw on my face, Tiffany, was watching you in motion. This is learning in motion. You know, the spirit told me, you know, you know, you have the answers for yourself. You have built this within yourself. And now your success will be communicating accepting others and communicating that with them mm -hmm. all right the fact i was going to ask a question like did you did you take on that junk in the house with your parents and you answered it for me you said no you realized that was their stuff listen to the lessons guys we're all with people that's their stuff then she said i can't clean that not your job it is not it is not Another person's stuff is their stuff because that's their journey and you cannot get in the way of a person's journey. You cannot. It's not right. Because there is something for them to learn in there. And only they can clean their stuff, right? How many people out there are, have been in the job of trying to clean up other people's stuff? And you find out at the end, when you keep cleaning up the stuff, you know it's me. I'm one of them. <laughs> clean, I clean up stuff. I used to call having a holy jihad. I would go through my house whoosh 24 hours everything done if you see my apartment now i've always lived like this mm. other people when i lived with them just will pile it up and i go all right holy jihad time not looking at what i was doing to myself mm. all right 
That's not how we help each other. So Tiffany, what you said, you just set the world on fire. Boom, that was their stuff. I can't clean that stuff. It's not mine. I don't clean mine. Then you took ownership of what was yours. You found your feet and said, this is the energy that I need. Oh, wow. You just talk so many, so much wisdom to hold so many people who need to hear that. Because the things, and, and think, think about, look at what we're saying. We're also saying stuff. Stuff. Do you call things that are of life and giving life, giving to you and are in use for you and have a purpose stuff? Do we call the food we eat stuff? Oh, I ate some stuff the other day. Hmm. I had a salad. I had some fruit. I made a beautiful dinner. We don't say I ate some stuff. <laughs> right? Right? <sighs> Spirit told me that's it. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Misty. Misty had said, if you feel, and I love this, Misty, if you feel you need to hold on to an object, but you will not use it, she said, take a picture of it. She said, get rid of the object and then keep the picture in a book. Mm. Wow. Wow. That's awesome advice. I like that. We do have things called memories and learn to cherish our memories. A lot of my pictures I have set in my mind, you know, things I want to keep, treasured times, treasured moments, treasured objects. My grandmother passed away when I was younger and I inherited some of the things that she gave and keeping those pictures in my mind because Everything that has a beginning must have an end, you know? And people have things, heirlooms, you have to take care of them a certain way for them to have a longevity of life. Because you can't keep things. If you, if you refurbish them, restore them, you know, you can. And um, yeah, I keep those pictures within my mind, you know? And I'll forever cherish the rocking chair that she sat in with me, you know? I will always cherish the jewelry box where she used to let me go inside and look at all her pieces. <laughs> you know, I will cherish that moment, those moments with my grandmother and keep them as that snapshot and keep it in my, my mental picture book. You know, those will always serve me because in those moments, my grandmother was showing me love, compassion, you know, and I learned how to love that part of myself, you know. So the energies that we're speaking about today is the things that no longer serve you. This time is up. And it's time to move into the next stage of what you need to do. But we hold on to stuff. We hold on to different energies because we don't want to let go. That's why the other people, Tiffany, those coming to you, wait, 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 you want to? Because they were going to their own thing. You want to get rid of that? You, you, you know? And it's something. That was me. That was me eons ago. Now I'm like, we got to go. Make a new move. we got to go. And it comes back. Triggers come back. Be Remember, um, 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 D and Yesenia, you all saw me, what, three weeks ago? Go off. My mother called me and told me she cleaned out the basement. And my whole world just was like, wait, you what? Right, all my stuff. My <laughs> stuff. The things I wanted to keep was a pretty in bins, tacked on top of the three bins, no, two of them. She said, it's gone. She said, the sewage pipe broke, it's washed over stuff and everything is gone. <sighs> All right, it took me a day. I talked to myself. I listened to the divine. I listened to my guides. It told me what had to be done. And I said, that energy had to go. Mm -hmm. You were holding on to stuff stuff a lot of times we tend to we're all talking to our guys you know i want to i'm a millionaire i want this new house i want this stuff you know because we still we still do call great stuff stuff as well too it depends on the person it depends great on stuff. Your, great stuff. your your definition of it but then when it comes about to where we're manifesting it and then the steps actually happen to get to that point we're like but no but 
why did I have to lose my car? Well, because you, you said that you want this billion dollar house and this is the steps to get to it. And But, but no, oh no, you know? <laughs> it's so much emotional attachment. And one thing that I really, really love about what Tiffany shared, when she was sharing, she was also speaking of compassion. Us as enlightened beings, when we see someone else that they're probably not on the same walk that we are, or they're not at the same level, we have to have the same compassion. You know, like with her parents, she realized that was theirs. That's, this is your walk. This is your path. This is what your decisions. And she had the courage to, and the awareness to look inside and say, okay, does this align with mine? purpose no um nice. move out and then she said she wasn't like well but they're my parents i cannot leave them that's also emotional attachment too you know what i mean i cannot leave them it was, they're the stuff now mm-hmm. <laughs> you know you know mm-hmm. so and she's like and then and then and to think of it too this way if she would have said that she could have it could have been I want to level up. I love myself, but her action would have said the opposite. I don't love myself and I don't want to level up. Wow. So she was like, okay, this doesn't align with me. I can't handle it like this. Cause it, cause remember again, we're speaking of, of physical, but this is spiritual. This is invisible. So she was saying, this doesn't align with me, this house, the energy that's here. So I'm going to, I'm going to move. And it doesn't, it didn't mean she didn't love her parents. She loves them, yes. but she, she needed, she has her own walk. She has her own path, you know? Tell it be. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I saw so much boo when you were sharing. Ooh. I saw so, so much, so, so much. So guys, yes. Like Angela said, watch this again. Please. And you know what? Close your eyes and listen. Close your eye gates. Don't even physically look at us and just let your ears absorb that. Let your spirit absorb that, your heart, all your chakras. See see if you're triggered someplace and be aware of where in your body it's triggering. Is it your heart or is it, was it, is it your, your, your sacral or your, or your solar plex? You know, what is it? And, and just ask some great questions. Why, why did what Tiffany just said about that trigger? What, what needs to be loved? What, what, you know, start asking questions, talk to your guides and shoot. We're going to be doing this, right? We're going to be cleaning house, cleaning. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, have no, you have no idea so I asked for more clarity and more on the angel side of things because I have my cards here and so I was like while you guys were talking I set the cards here I went over there and you know I asked the guy so you know do you guys want to go deeper what else do you need like do we go deeper do we not go deeper on the spiritual side of things and um it uh, mind blown uh, the card, but at the same time, I knew, I you know also it's like whoa, okay, all right, screaming now. <laughs> um, one thing that uh, the guides want to remind us is to take one room at a time, mm. open one portal at a time. Let's not overwhelm ourselves. Let's not go into holes that we cannot come out of. Because we go into a, a portal, we go into a portal that takes us deep, 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 right? First, prepare yourself for the, for the, for what you're going to do, right? Mentally, emotionally. Uh, we're clearing energies. We're clearing energies. This is, this is, this is so we can live happier, so that all these beautiful things that we continue to say that we want, so that they can come into our lives and um let's start from there um then you go into each room you make a list and if a list is too overwhelming for you then go ahead one day at a time just say today all right guys let's get together as a family so 
I would love for everybody to be a part of this project because this is a big project and I would love everybody's attention and everybody's you know, we're talking about your stuff. I don't want to get rid of things that you really are super, super connected with it. But if you haven't used it in three months, we're going to donate it to somebody that needs it. Yeah, boo, because, you know, there's like so many billions of kids on this planet and a lot of them don't have it. This is for kids, right? For adults. All right, honey bunny. Honey bunny. Like, honey bunny. Oh, we went through this conversation how many times already? Okay, remember when I talked to you about my parents' house and your parents' house, how they used to have like all the shit in their house and we hated that shit. You hated that shit in your parents' house. I hated that shit in my parents' house. So can we come into a conclusion here that this is our home and we don't want to bring that crap into our house? Those beautiful antiques that they love so much, but we did not like it. Now we love this stuff. This is the stuff that we want. Yeah. So can we both, both worlds here, my parents' stuff or my or, or my uncles and aunts and nieces, whoever. You so you know what I'm saying? No. No, no, no. Over there. This is our home. This is our palace. Please. Okay. All right. We're oh, we're all in this conversation together. Beautiful. Let's do it. Okay, so this upcoming week and month, depending on what we got to get rid of here and how we're going to get rid of these things, it's going to be cleaning because Thanksgiving is around the corner, Christmas is around the corner, New Year's is around the corner, and 2022, my love, is going to be a year for you know what. And if we're not ready here, we're going to get left behind in this boat of abundance. And guess what? I've been working too, too hard for this. I'm going to need you to do this. Okay. So the cards now. <laughs> <laughs> that was so deep. That was what channel through, right? <laughs> the card also says, clear, cancel, and release. Hey! <laughs> yes. Bam. Clear, clear, cancel, and release. And that card is like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna go to Wakanda and get some of that nice magical stuff up in there, and we're gonna no, 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 no. Siri, wh where are you? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna need you to help me with the crazy people, please. You yes. know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <Just> <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> The guys is like I, I they they join the conversation basically. But they always do that. Like, I'm tripping over here before yeah. you even read the card, okay? Because we have gotten this card before, but I just I just need a second, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I love that. I just need. <laughs> I think when you were like. Um, you know, my parents' house and my husband's house and how he didn't like that shit. And I was like, oh my God, how does she know? And then you were like, in all of those antiques that that um, that parents, his parents have or whatever, his dad oh my God. <laughs> is constantly buying antiques. Steve, if you see this, you know I love you. But... <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're out here. <laughs> I mean, like he, 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 he's always getting things and bringing things to us. And yes, so when you said that, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, no, I, don't know I do not know your. Parents. I know. I know. That was a straight up message from Granny. <laughs> <laughs> and then clear cancel and replace and it's like oh my god <laughs> i know i know i yeah so in, yeah. yeah like i i went through a phase with my husband and i can tell you that because you know his parents had this trophy um cabinet of baseball trophies right for his brother that was the superstar carlos i love you you know you're you're in my heart like he was the one that embraced me in the family the first one you hear me like I came into the family everybody's like 
Dominican, no, because they had a bad experience with a Dominican woman before. So, eh, no. So, and then he was the first one saying, no, you know, she's the main thing. Like, come on, whatever. But they have this trophy um, cabinet and trophies all over. So they live in Texas, but they keep it in, in their parents' house. And I was like, so where are these trophies going? And they were like, oh yeah, they're going to your house when you have a house. I said, uh, first of all, <laughs> Your name is not Carlos, <laughs> and that is not going in my house <laughs> at all. So I called up Carlos' wife, and I said, hey, so there's a cabinet up in here, and it says Carlos' name on it. But they want to bring it to my house because it's in New Jersey. So can you please ask Carlos if he wants this stuff? Because if not, that." It's not coming to my house. She asked Carlos, and Carlos was like, heck no. No, I don't want that crap in my house. What are you saying? When I was like, why? It was the parents. The parents were attached to the memories of their five-year-old son. Yes, 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 have pictures. Anyways, but I couldn't break that code. I did not break it. Still to today, that code is not broken. It's Kevin, and it's still there, okay? 11 years later, and I like, have still there. So no, you're right. You leave it behind. It's your stuff. You are attached to this. No, I mean, I am not attached to it at all. I actually like very fancy things. And once I'm, you know, my eyes are like, young, like that. Then, then I donate it to somebody else that needs it in their house. And then, you know, my mom is so good at this, by the way. She is like curtains. She buys curtains, and then the other curtains that she had, she's like, oh, I'm such and such here. I bought new curtains. Do you want them? No? Okay, all right. I'm going to bring you to the church. I know somebody will need it over there in the church, and she lives in the church, and somebody puts it up in the church. She doesn't keep any of it. Like, my mom is, and my dad is the same way. So, yeah, it's the same way. So, yeah, the card card say you're being guided to clear your life and energy of your negative and challenging people and situations or events, also events, you know, because they have attachment to those things, the ob objects that we are holding, you know. If you got a divorce and you still have the engagement ring or the, the last ring, you might want to pawn that baby and get yourself some beautiful earrings. That was or a necklace case. or another ring that will go with you. But for your new, like a ring that is going, I'm sorry, I'm, I don't mean to trigger you. This is the guy's only speaking. I'm, I'm going to put my thing on the top right here. So I don't think they, <laughs> uh, I'm going to put a, a cover on top of it. So I don't think no, 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah, no, so buy yourself a ring for yourself now. So Ooh. celebrate the new changes in your life. I'm wow. going to put this in. This is for my divorce. I'm going to change it. I'm going to, I want wow. something beautiful for like a necklace or another ring, but and I'm married to myself. I only talk to me now. Like wow. me, I only go to me. My what I love and what I feel. Wow. Um <clears throat> okay. It is time to release any old ideas, negative thoughts, pattern, patterns, or even sarcastic comments you may be using to put yourself down. No more of that. No more calling your names, any names. You only, from now on, we're only calling each other beautiful names. Like, you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're a queen, you're amazing, you know. And this is why we're cleaning up the kingdoms here. Yeah. When have you seen a dirty castle? They have servants and stuff. Well, we got to get to the servant part of it. You know, they have people that, that take care of these things. So in order for us to get our big castle together and prepare for the for the for the people that are gonna take care of our castle and know that this is how we want our castle to be, not that you're just gonna pile up shit on top of shit. <laughs> the people that come in to clean because they think that those things are meaningful to you and they don't want to get rid of it. Hmm. Angels of wisdom wants you to recognize and realize the power of your words, thoughts, and intentions. 
if you are saying something, even jokingly, about yourself, that might ha that has a negative ex uh, effect on yourself. Something you wish that wasn't real, you are being encouraged to be more loving towards yourself. Okay, we're here now. It's been a lot, a while, but you know, my guys are saying I have to get rid of you. Guys, thank you so much. I love you. I you. I actually love myself. I actually, I don't, you know what? I don't know. I don't know how we got here, but after today, we're going to take action so we can do this because actually today is a great day to do this or tomorrow or, you know, this, but the intentions were set today and this beautiful day, uh, our ancestors are speaking so loud, <laughs> so loud. There is no way I can shut it down. <laughs> Um, this is a day for you to, um, I know many people today celebrate different things, but today is a day to celebrate your ancestors, um, where they were before, where we, they brought our family into, where they're bringing us into the future. Um, they want us to live a lot of things behind because that is not needed. And you will know what's needed into your future and what's not. It's holding a hurtful attachment, leave it alone. If it's bringing you joy and happiness and it's it's essential to, to the energy that you're building in your house or your castle, then bring it along. If not, donate it, burn it, throw it out, call somebody to come and pick it up, sell it, um, sell it so you can make more money for a bigger castle. There are many, many options. We're traveling the world. These are different things that we are, that we can do. Angels are guiding you to clear and cancel and release anything that you no longer want or need in order to make more room for love, positivity, and peace. Love lives in a beautiful, amazing garden. Love lives in a beautiful, amazing garden. Whatever you have negative thoughts or sin, something you then wish that hasn't, have the capacity to remove ideas and energies that are no longer serving you. And use the powerful affirmation as you're going along with this journey as clear, cancel, and release. Clear, cancel, and release. Clear, cancel, and release. And open your windows, burn some sage, burn some copal, burn some of the, uh, the name that she said yesterday. I'm sorry, I can't recall the name right now. Um, bring some incense, put on a candle, set the intention that you're burning things uh, that no longer are serving you. You're burning the energies, you're pushing the energies out that are no longer serving you. Remember to open the windows, the doors, to allow the energies to leave to allow the energies to exit the, the kingdom. When you draw this card, you are also being encouraged to clear any clutter from your life. If there is a dust building up on stuff accumulating in your home, office, car, or anywhere else, you spend time, clear it now. When you clear physical space, you clear psychic space. Psychic space. If you're looking for that deeper connection with divine, with that deeper connection with your guides, your ancestors, source, God, whoever you want to call it, this is a perfect opportunity. This is a perfect day to do that. The energies are so powerful that you clear some space. You put on your candles, your water, your fruits, and you will see magic in your life you will see magic in your life making these simple changes will clear your energies and open up and to experience the sense of clarity and freedom mm. that is so important boo. Thank, you. thank you so much for your yes. presence thank you so much for allowing us to do this every single day and for using our voice 
for using our vessels to do your work and for doing what you do best. Thank you, ancestors, for being here and for guiding us along this journey, this amazing journey of life, for preparing us for what is coming in 2022 for all of us, for all of us, and for time to time, taking some of that wisdom and bringing it in into the new earth. Thank you so much. All I can do is smile. <laughs> wow. Mm. wow. Mm. Whoa. Whose mind was blown by the universe today? Whose mind was blown by the universe today? Um, yeah. You <laughs> said, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, that's right. Tink. Yes, your Diwali celebration starts today. Yes. Happy Diwali. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this see, is see, how strong, see how strong things are? Yes, yeah. yes. Reverence to all of your ancestors, everyone. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. That was... Um, <clears throat> That was really, really good, Jesse. Um, and I mean, I've heard this card before because you pulled it recently, but I heard it differently today. Mm -hmm. And today what I heard was, or what I got, was a reminder of the energy that I used in order to clear my space all those years ago. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, because, I mean, I've even been dealing with feeling attachments to things and finding myself frustrated about feeling attached to things when I'm like, no, I'm not, a, I don't get attached to things. <laughs> They're just things. I can, I can, I know how to get rid of things. Why am I feeling some kind of way about this thing? But I, I remembered how, how good it felt and how good my space felt to have everything have its place Ooh. and to still have my space not feel like cluttered or, or too heavy and things like that. So um, I, I think, I feel like that is the connection that, that I've been missing is yeah, I want to get rid of my stuff and, you know, want to like, you know, stop bringing in more things, but, but bringing it to like the energetic level of, you know, this is an energy clearing. This is, this is what's happening. It just, and like, I know that, but I, like, I, I, it just it just lines mm -hmm. up to, to look at that. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's an aha. You got that aha. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah, that's I feel that's the energy that I can move forward in is I'm clearing the, the energy to make the space for all of this stuff, or not all of this stuff, for 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 more things to come in, for for, mm -hmm. for the stuff to go out and and to to give um, space and room for 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 something else, which isn't necessarily a physical thing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Thank well, you. Wow. Well. Oh. Okay. Well, and think about, oh, go, go ahead, Jesse. sorry. No, 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 it's okay. I said, I thank the ancestors for bringing us that into clarity because also today I'm working a lot with uh, my ancestors and doing a lot of things today. So I, I'm just like, oh, okay. Like I'm in the middle of the, the, 
I'm in the middle of it. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right. And for a second, I gave it a thought. And I was like, no, 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 I got to keep going. <laughs> I got to go. I got to go. Jess, stay over there. <laughs> so, yeah, no, thank you so much. Um, yes. It really means everything that we we are we're doing this. And the thing is that we're doing it as a collective now. Um, so it's making way bigger changes into our lives. And, and if you're here listening to this today or tomorrow, and um, whenever you're set, this intention was set for this, for this day, for our ancestors to take us to the next level where we need to be in our, in our journey, yeah. in our journey. So whatever journey we are on, our ancestors are speaking through us today to give you the guidance that you need in your path. That's why Dee said, just, or, or Ange said, close your eyes and just listen because the codes and the, 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 the little nuggets that your, your brain needs at the moment they will receive it. Like that's what today was so crucial for all of us. Even for me, I'm here, here sitting like, oh my God, okay, I hear you. <laughs> got it, got it. I'm gonna go and do that when I'm done. So even that, I'm because like I said earlier in the show, I've been purging myself mm. for a while. So and receiving more today, like, yeah, I know you did that one, but we're gonna have, we're gonna need you to go deeper on this one. Yes. So that kind of information. So dig ahead. <laughs> wow. I was, I was going to say, um, all of us, we need to remember that everything is uh, in the invisible realm. Everything. Mm -hmm. Remember, I mean, because that's what we are. We're, we're not, again, we're not this meat suit. You know, we're not this. So everything is there. So the clutter is there. The attachments are there. You know, the shadow work, it's there, you know, yeah. all of it, all of it. So if we can just bring that back to remembrance as many times oh. as we need to, whether it's each moment or each day wow. or each month, then, then, you know, that could possibly help, you know, with everything, decluttering your, your, your phone, we talked about that. Remember that day, you know, because like mine, my, my, yeah, capacity. It keeps saying, okay, your at capacity. It's not my, some of my apps are not even working because I have too much on my Dang. phone. Oh wow! You know, but just wow. think about that. Okay, so remember, I said everything is in the invisible. So there's some apps that are not working correctly because there's too much on my phone. So there's stuff. I mean. People can't even, okay, I'm going to get deep here, okay? Just think of the people who cannot poop. It's because there's too much in their body. It cannot act, it cannot act right. Or a, a female, their, their period is not coming. It's because there's too much junk or stuff that's not correct for their body to work properly. It all starts in the invisible realm first, all. And then when, when we do not take care of it, it manifests in the physical. Mm, yes, mama. So think of it like that. So when you're talking to someone else or, because remember it all starts with you. It all starts with you. So look in your closet, mm -hmm, declutter, your phone. I'm gonna tell you how many messages I have in my inbox and on my, on my Hotmail. Mm, okay, hello, who else did I just trigger? What? Okay, go in your inbox and do, I still got stuff in there. I'm not gonna tell you, okay? I'm not gonna tell you what year. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't trigger yourself back. Right, right, right. Or those purses you're not using or what? whatever it is, wow. whatever. Yeah, when I left my job, everybody was like, oh, those are so many good stuff. I got rid of every single piece I used to work mm -hmm. in my job. Every yeah. single piece, whether it was new or old, it went into, I have four bags of good clothes mm -hmm. and they were doing construction here. And the guy was like, I, I asked one of the guys, I said, hey, you know, I have brand new clothes, it's dressed up. I used to work at a bank, I don't work anymore. 
but these are good clothes for women, size small or medium. He said, really? I said, yeah, most of them are new. I said, you can take, really? I said, yes, please take them. Because if not, it will just go to somebody that, you know, and, and it's, you know, I and do know spirit told me to give it to that. Yes. He was like, he was like, oh my God, thank you so much. My daughter's going to love this. I said, oh, I said, thank you. I heard to enjoy them. It is, they're clean. They're spiritually clean. clean. I, I cleaned them. I took them to, to the laundry. I also spiritually took my energy off of it. And it's brand new, spanking new clothes. Oh, wow. Even better than when you buy them at the store because I, I cleansed all of the energies. And I gave it to him. And he was like, oh, my God. I said, yes. I know that's not my, you know, I'm not doing that anymore. So I, you know, I'm giving awesome. everything, everything, even panties that I, that I will wear to go there. I'm, I went deep that way. I'm spirit mm -hmm. asked me to go that deep nice. because it was, that energy was really holding a lot of me. So when spirit said, Hey, we're going to yeah, get rid of all this stuff. I got rid of the jewelry. I got rid of everything I used to wear for work. Nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. I have to share something really fast. Oh, set off of what Jesse just said. Right. What? Who? The downloads. You hear what she said, how she prepared it to give? Right? The spirit said, when you go to different consignment shops and go to Goodwill and different places, which I love, I love, um, feel out what you're about to purchase because not everyone is of, the, of, the, of that understanding or overstanding just yet. So I will come in different shops because I have bought shirts and different, excuse me, blouses. And I would feel it first because there are others that have given away things, but their energy is still on it. So be mindful of the energies. All right. Set your intentions before you go. Know exactly what you're looking for. And the spirit will guide you to the piece that you're supposed to, supposed to have. All right. That's what it is. So I just said that to so be careful when you're shopping. And yeah. Everywhere. everywhere. I All right, because you hear what Jesse just said? That's why. She yeah. said it. I cleaned it. I prayed I took my energy from it and released. Not everybody's able to do that. Sometimes we're just getting rid of stuff because we just got to get rid of it. And um, I want to give a shout out. I want to give a personal shout out to my mother, to my family. Oh, my goodness. I talked to my mother yesterday. And because they listened to the divine spirit and swept that whole cellar clean, the whole energy in the house has changed. She said, oh, we doing, we going from room to room, Jesse, take one room at a time. They were sending me pictures, showing me videos. My son came up and said, look at this. I was like, look at this. I'm just like crying. I'm happy with joy. I'm like, you go, 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 y'all. Do, do it. Celebrate, congratulations. Love you all dearly. You all rocking it. And uplifting that spirit in the house. And it, you should saw their faces. They're just like, you can see it's just cleansed and they're light. And I'm like, yes. Yes, it's yes. And by the way, everyone, the spirit also told me that was something that was in that, the boxes that I had was my wedding rings, my engagement rings, and even my husband's ring. But it said, it was time to let that energy go. And someone has just received it that needed it. They could not get it for themselves. Um, my heart just got so full in the past hour. Wow. Yes. My heart is jumping a lot. They found it. They yeah. found it. Because I kept saying, oh, well. But he said, no, it went to someone who needed it. Couldn't purchase it for themselves. I'm like, yes. The last thing that the spirit said is what Dee touched on. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. And you have your answer to remember who you are. That's all you have to reconnect to. It's already there. When we take on certain energies, remember, you take on that energy of what that is. And you know what belongs to you and what doesn't. Remember who you are. Get centered. Meditate every day, everyone. Breathe into it. Calm the mind. And connect to yourself. That's it. Any last words? Cause that was mine. That was mine. <laughs> Any last words, word, phrases, sonnets, poems? Uh -uh. What you got? What you got, y'all? 
Okay, Jesse Wynn, you threw away your panties. What? I got panties in, uh, they're gone now. They're gone now because, oh my gosh, from, oh, I didn't, oh my gosh, that's all I got to say. Thank you guys. Thank you for just, oh my gosh. Okay, so, ooh, something I heard as well too. One drawer at a time. Oh, you know, because because Tiffany, you're right. It can be really overwhelming, oh, and, it is, and it's not the cleaning. It's it's just the the emotion, the attachment is overwhelming. The energy, the triggers are overwhelming. So, one drawer at a time. Um, I have two drawers. I actually, that's what the spirit told me when I was doing half of it. It was like the three drawers that I have. You haven't looked at that drawer. So I am glad that they speaking through you too. Yes. <laughs> that was <about> the drawer. <laughs> Remember, we do not get wise overnight. One step at a time. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to go through my underwear drawer and look through all of it. And, and then, oh my gosh, even just when you were like, if you haven't worn them in three months, why are you still? Okay, I got underwear in there. I haven't worn in probably two years. What is still in my drawer? Uh, they, they pretty though that's why because it's sexy <laughs> and, and i'm like oh but but and then wait i can't fit them either hello uh. let's throw it out <laughs> right 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 so wow. yeah mm -hmm. i'm gonna do it i'm excited i'm so glad that we talked about this today right I'm excited I'm I, we did, I, you know i asked my guy just to what are you gonna talk what are we gonna talk about today the same thing we do every day, Pinky. We're going to take over. Yeah, the Pinky. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. Take over the world. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so awesome. What are we going to do today? <laughs> same thing do we do every day. Every Pinky. day. We're going to take over. Take the world. We're going to take over, Pinky. <laughs> awesome. I love that show. Oh me too. <laughs> oh, Tiff, you got some got some words of wisdom or a word? Yeah. Some, some, <laughs> a verse. That poem today, but we'll see what comes out of my mouth. Um, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Let's see what comes out my mouth. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, with the whole clearing the space and the clutter and all of that, um, just what's really resonating for me is setting the intention first. Mm -hmm. Not just like, oh, I'm going to go over here and clean, but setting the attention, yeah. recognizing um, that you're there to move more than just physical stuff, that it's energetic stuff that, that needs to be moved and cleared as well. And so setting that intention um, and being in that energy of, of release and, and clearing, like, make it a freaking sacred practice to do that, to, you know, that, that's what it's feeling sure. like, what, what, what you were saying, Jesse, it's like, it, make it sacred. And because if it, if it's sacred, then you can just, you can just do it. You can just, you can just flow through it. This mm -hmm. doesn't match with the energy that I'm bringing in anymore. So, you know, let's, let's make this, let's make this space. Let's put, let's set this energy, right? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It is a sacred practice. I started when I, I, I started when I, on a full moon, uh, clearing the, this way, the way that I clear now. Nice, nice, Jess. And it was just, you know, mama guiding me through what I needed to uh, get rid of. And then it just, now it's just, it's, it's, it's even my husband saying, oh, I said, you have your process of cleaning. I have my process of cleaning because my, my cleanings are, are spiritual <laughs> and physical. So I physical clean and I spiritually clean. So it's different, but everybody has that practice. You know, we built that. Yeah. Awesome. Some, something else that I got as well too, that I meant to say earlier. Um, 
And this is speaking as far as, because like, especially when we're in homes with other people or we're around other people, loved ones. Yeah. Um, when we continue to suppress ourselves, you know, that that's toxic to yeah. every layer or dimension of us. So mm-hmm. when you are feeling a certain way and you're not speaking your truth, mm-hmm. you know, you, it's, it's very, it's, it's, it, it's very toxic. So even with what we're saying today, and Tiffany, you, you're not telling them that you need to do this. You're not speaking your truth. Ooh. You know, don't sacrifice speaking your truth because you want to please or not hurt someone else. Mm. Because that's what you're doing. You're literally sacrificing, killing it yourself. Because like Jesse and we've all said, it's all on a spiritual level, you know? And you're basically, that's literally negative self-talk. You're telling yourself you're not worthy. You don't mean anything. I don't have any boundaries. You don't need boundaries. I will let people do whatever they want to me when you don't speak your truth. So speak your truth. And that is the energy of clutter speaking right now. That is what that energy tells you. You're not important. You're not truthful. You don't count. All of this junk is what counts for you. This is good for you. You're good. Keep doing, piling up shit on top of shit on top of shit. Love lives in a garden and doesn't have to yell and scream. Nice. Wow. Affirm that, everyone, please. Love lives in a garden. Love lives in a garden. Unconditional love lives in a garden. Oh, unconditional love lives in a garden. Mm Drop it in the chat. I'm doing it right now myself. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And tomorrow, uh, I guess uh, we, we'll, we'll, we'll go deeper into other things because we have to go. Yes. Um, but um, one last thing that we needed to say. Oh, yeah. Love yourself. Give yourself the compassion. Um, and know that some of the things that we discussed today, maybe you heard it before, but you didn't hear it with your spiritual ears. So give yourself the compassion and, and say, hey, you know, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start. And if you don't do it today because today's Halloween or you don't do it today because it's self-care or whatever, the energies were set for today. Mm-hmm. And you can come back today, tomorrow into this video and you can go ahead and start tomorrow. Just don't don't take too long because that energy that's been in the house, not in your physical house, mm. but in this house, Ooh. been there for a while. Yes. And it's been trapped for way too long. Yeah. It is time for you, us, to let that spirit out because that spirit does not belong in this home. So oh, very thankful. So very thankful. Does anyone else have anything else to share before we wrap it up for the day? So, so very blessed. So very thankful as we are every moment of every day. Wow. I thank and praise the Almighty. I thank and praise the divine spirits that guides us. Oh, wow. It's awesome. We pray that everyone continues to have a blessed day taking in the wisdom that was shared today, all day, every day, right? And put it to use. You will know the time. The time is always now. If not now, when? Right? Love you all dearly. Set those great intentions that you continue to do for yourself every day. See it through. Show up and show out in your life. Playful out. Do it with some love, devotion, self-compassion forgiveness and love love you all dearly and we will see you tomorrow to talk more and flow with you guys peace love you dearly